Let's begin by preparing the hardware that we need for this guide. This guide assumes that you have a Raspberry Pi with a power supply, micro SD card flashed with Raspberry Pi OS, formerly Raspbian, and a monitor connected via HDMI with a keyboard and mouse. We are going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this guide, so we will be using an adapter from micro HDMI to HDMI, although older models will not require this adapter, so we'll just use a direct HDMI connection. Begin by ensuring that you have plugged in your HDMI cable into the Raspberry Pi and also the TV slash monitor. Now you can check your micro SD card is inserted into the Raspberry Pi correctly. Finally, we can now plug in the power supply to both the wall and then the Pi. Please note that this power connector may look different to yours if you are on an older Raspberry Pi. The unit should now power on. Now for the software configuration part of this tutorial. We are assuming that your Pi is connected to your network for this guide. If it is not, please see the video that is linked in the description below first. Now that your power is on, your desktop should spring to life, or your login screen if you set it up like this. You may need to log in. Navigate to the dark black terminal icon in your taskbar at the top of your screen and click it. After we have opened this window, we need to check our current IP address. This can be done by typing if config and pressing the return or enter key. A lot of information will now be displayed, but we can disregard most of it. Because I'm connected to Wi Fi, I need to check WLAN 0. Make a note somewhere of their number after ENET. If you are connected to Ethernet, you will need to check ETH0. Now that we know our IP address, we need to check our gateway. Type sudo root dash n and press the return key. This will give us the gateway. Here is mine. Please make a note of this. We are now going to assign a static IP address to our Raspberry Pi. We will assign the current IP that is already allocated to it. Type sudo nano slash etc slash dhcp cd dot conf. This will open this file. We may need to add space in the file above to add our lines. This can be done with the enter key. Simply type interface WLAN 0 or ETH0 depending on how you were connected from earlier and press enter. Next we have to type static IP underscore address equals your static IP. You can write here your current IP address that we noted down from earlier, but you can change these ending digits if desired for a different IP. Now press enter and type static routers equals your gateway, which we noted down from earlier, which for me is this. Again, press enter. Now we have to assign a DNS. You can use Cloudfares, Googles, or another of your own preference. Type static domain underscore name underscore servers equals 8.8.8.8 space 8.8.4.4 and press the return key. Once you have double checked your typed lines for typos, you can save and close out with Ctrl and X and then press Y to confirm and then enter. Now, if all goes well, you should have a static IP after a reboot. To reboot your Raspberry Pi, type sudo reboot and press enter. Now wait for your Pi to reboot. To check that the changes have worked correctly, open the terminal using the same dark black icon and type if config. Aha, result. There you go. If not, you may need to rewatch this video 
and ensure that you are following each step exactly as explained. If you still have issues after watching this video again, please let us know in the comments or by pinging us on Twitter at OSBallProject. Please let us know whether you would like more of this type of content and any guide suggestions which you think would be helpful for us to create. Thank you very much for watching.